something comes through this morning I've literally got <laughs> check this out that's the road right there it's an old minimum maintenance road that runs through this piece of property but these deer have been using the crap out of it like there's tracks all over that road uh, now I do think that this is an area they mainly use at night but I'm hoping this cold snap might be enough to get them on their feet come set check this bedding area. It might have to take a miracle, but we'll see. I know the bugs are in here. Like, I've got trail camera photos of them using this area. And uh, during the rut like this, who knows, a doe could bring them right past this stand. So we're going to sit in tight. Hopefully we see something that the uh, turkeys were chirping this morning. Kind of cool to listen to. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning here on November 4th, so stick around, hopefully we see something. Buck was 
was looking towards that coyote and just kind of trotted it back to where it came from. He wasn't loving it. But there's literally like, I can't get video of him. I can only barely just glass him through the trees, but there's like 40 turkeys over in that bean field. They're kind of sounding off every once in a while. Those birds will start gobbling. Exactly what we need to have an old buck do. That buck just came through at 35 yards. When he got to the road, he was kind of looking down the road like, I don't know if he was checking out another deer, or maybe he saw that coyote or something, but he got to the road and he was just kind of acting a little bit jumpy, like intimidated almost. I don't know if he saw another buck down there or what. So it's about 11.30 and uh, I haven't seen a deer for, I mean, several hours now. Uh, it was a fun morning for sure. Saw four or five deer in total. Saw a couple deer cross this back field that I wasn't able to get on video. A small buck and a couple does. But uh, had that little basket rack come down here. 30 yards, that would have been perfect shot um, had he been one of the big boys, but I think there's, I've got a trail camera over here. I think I'm going to climb down and check that trail camera, see if anything's come through this spot. And I have another spot in mind, basically back on this far field, kind of a pinch point there that uh, I'm thinking about for this evening. But if I go back there, I think I'm either going to set up on the ground or do a hang and hunt. Uh, so I want to get back there plenty early so I can figure out my spot So I think I'm just gonna climb down maybe run and grab a bite to eat quick and then uh, be right back out here Get on that spot. Hopefully kill a buck tonight You guys remember this camera? Let's see what came through the last couple days. This guy came through, says 658, but we had a daylight savings time change, so that'd be 558. So he came through at 558 this morning.
He came through in the middle of the night. That's a good buck right there. Middle of the night. That weird non-typical looking dude. Same thing, middle of the night, so they're mostly still all nocturnal. Check it out. We got some gourmet lunch for today. Bam! SpaghettiOs and bam! Raviolis. <laughs> Campbell's, what's up? I need a sponsor. <laughs> Just quick, easy lunch. I brought my uh, cooking kit that I got. So basically, it is just a uh, MSR pocket rocket just for camping and stuff like that. This is actually the system that I bring on all of my lightweight backpacking hunts and it actually works pretty good. It's just a quick little burner for heating up some lunch midday, which is exactly what we're doing right now. That's it. Get yourself a bowl. I'm actually going to rinse this out. Anyway. Grab a burner. Just comes in this nice little deal. Why did I get this? I don't have a can opener. <laughs> I guess we're not having raviolis because I don't have a can opener. And this doesn't have a little pop lid like this one. So spaghetti as it is. pretty excited for this. I haven't had SpaghettiOs in a long time. Lunch is served. Check that out. Tell me that don't look good, huh? Alright guys, so we literally just had a little stint of rain come through. It rained for about 35, 40 minutes. And it has now let up completely. Got a little bit of sun starting to break through, but uh, that is, I absolutely love hunting after a little bit of rain moves through. It really gets the deer up on their feet, so I'm gonna make the trek, get way back in here on this piece of property set up in a big pinch point and uh man hopefully it all comes together oh man <laughs> i have my wide angle lens on there's literally just three bobcats right down here right on the edge of the field three of them You don't see that very often around here. They're right there. I got no freaking zoom on this lens whatsoever. My other lens is buried way back in my pack. That is so cool. There's three freaking bobcats. I wish I could show you guys. Dang it. Oh, there they go. <laughs> Dang, I wish I got that on video. Oh well. Gotta go up that.
after I saw those big rubs down in that bottom, I had to come up top just to see if there was any anything else, any other sign or anything showing up. Sure enough, I come up to this top, and these cedar trees up here are just absolutely shredded. This buck has been in here just ripping it up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up on this high side and get my wind right so I don't get busted in the night. Just not this top field, in case he comes there again. But tomorrow morning, I'm going to shimmy up in this little tiny tree right here. Put my hanging hut set in there and hunt this literally. I, I think I'm going to do it all day long. Bring my lunch in and do it all day sitting here. Should be good. Here's the spot for tonight. Sit right here. I'm just gonna gather some of this brush. Stack it around me right here so I've got a little bit of a ground blind. There's a trail right there. He's got a rub there. The rub line leads all the way down to his corner. actually starting to get fairly late. I'm surprised I haven't seen more deer, but just one doe crossing the field. Well guys, I think that's about a wrap for this evening. I'm starting to lose camera light. I only saw that one across the field behind me, but I, I keep hearing stuff running around down in this ravine where this cedar thicket is. I actually just heard, it sounded like two bobcats fighting. I don't know if it was those same cats that I saw earlier or what, but they were like getting after it. And it was definitely a cat. It sounded like a cat, you know. Uh, but like deeper throat here, it was, it was it had to have been Bobcat. That was crazy. But I'm going to start packing up my stuff. Slip out of here. Well, I can still kind of see, so I know I'm not bumping anything off of this field. Because I want to come back here first thing tomorrow morning. Try to do a hanging hunt in this little tree that's over here. Hopefully it works out. We'll see. But I'm going to start getting packed up just real slowly.
Well guys, that is it for today's video and day three of my rutcation. So just a little bit of recap, saw that buck this morning, um, moved in and hunted a spot this evening that is absolutely tore up with rubs. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna head into that spot again. And uh, I think those rubs were made this morning. So I'm hoping he kind of stays the same pattern and and runs that line and uh, touches up some more rubs. So anyway, I'm gonna be there hopefully for an all day sit. We'll see how it plays out with the weather and the wind. It's supposed to get up uh, 15, 20 mile an hour wind and the tree I'm gonna be in is like really, really small. So um, we'll see how that holds up. But guys, I appreciate y'all watching. If you like this video, remember to smash that subscribe button, give this video a like, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the morning. Peace. Oh,